Alrighty guys, so welcome back to another DM Guard video. So today I'm working on a 2018 Nissan Rogue. All right, customer states, the auxiliary socket or power socket or cigarette lighter. All right, a Nissan still calls it a cigarette lighter. Uh, it's not working. So I have my own little charger here so I can connect my USB. But as you guys can see, this is supposed to be illuminating blue. All right, so there is another auxiliary port in the cargo area. Uh, let's go check that one out. Let's see if that one works. All right, so it's on the right side of the vehicle. All right, you guys can see this one, it's working. See the light? Alrighty guys, so here I have the schematic. The one on the left side, it's a 20 amp fuse. And that one is powering up the one in the cargo area. You guys can see it, the one on the right side has two. It's also a 20 amp fuse. So that one powers up the center console and also uh, in the passenger compartment area, okay? So they're both 20 amp fuses. So the one on the right side, you guys can see there's two. So if the center console one stops working, the one in the passenger area will also stop working. Alrighty, so all you need to diagnose this issue is a test light, okay? You can hook up the test light. You could ground it right here at this hinge, okay? Uh, Nissans, they put their fuse box right here. Alrighty, so this is where your trim toolkit will come in. All right, so I already uh, removed the one I need and you just pry right here. Okay, just like so. Move it aside and then boom. Alrighty. So there's the fuses right there. Okay. So on the back of this plastic or this trim, you'll see these arrow pointing up. Also right here, upside. Which means you have to place it like this in order for you to read it correctly. Okay. So in my case, uh, it would be right there, the cigarette lighter, 20 amp fuse. So now you just grab your, your test light, okay? And, okay, look, turns on, okay? Go to the top one, okay, it doesn't turn on. There's no light whatsoever, okay? Go back to the bottom, you see illuminating, nothing at the top okay so right here it should be illuminating on both ends at the bottom and also at the top so if it's not illuminating this that means this fuse is blown okay so let me remove it so i can show you guys there it is already so you you can see there it's broken inside okay so yes, we have a blown 20 amp fuse right here. All right, so you see the top fuses up here? There's spare fuses. So I'm gonna remove this 20 amp from here and place it in here. All right. Before even testing the cigarette lighter, I want to see if it's gonna uh, if it's gonna work. Okay, we have power on one side. Look at this, power on the other side. Okay, so that means our cigarette lighter should should be working now. Okay, power on top, power at the bottom. All right, let's confirm repairs. All right, guys, moment of truth. Boom, beautiful, just like that. Thank you guys for watching another video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did find this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, if you like the content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. So things that I used to repair this issue was a test light, okay? Uh, a charger or a power socket, all right? And my trim tool. If you don't have this trim tool, you could use a flathead screwdriver all right, that will do the job. But I like to use plastic trims. That way I don't damage the plastic trim from the vehicle.
thank you guys for watching and you guys enjoy the rest of your day.